Well, there is no doubt that the events of 9-11 affected every American, among them two million Muslim Americans, some of whom became subject to discrimination and prejudice. And has that sentiment changed over the past decade? Well, we asked Angela Hong to find out. She joins us now to tell us what she found out today. Angela? Well, Don, today I spoke to both non-Muslims and Muslims, and most of them seem to say that Americans, well, their sentiments that they are actually more tolerant and accepting of the Islamic faith, but a recent poll just released said that Americans, actually half of Americans, are actually, they're uncomfortable with Muslims, and it may take a while before that changes. <laughs> Friday afternoon, nearly 100 Muslim RIT students stand shoulder to shoulder for prayer. Some of these college students were just eight years old at the time of the 9-11 attacks, but like all Americans, they have lived with the consequences. And it's humanity, you know. You don't like seeing anything like that happen anywhere in the world, and of course in our own country. I mean a new Gallup poll shows nearly 50 percent of Muslim Americans have faced some sort of discrimination, more than all the major religions. It's not a good thing that we all got, we're all scapegoats uh, of just one particular group of people. Um, we all kind of got fitted into the one, this one category of radical people. But 9-11 raised questions about Islam and questions led to answers and for some understanding. I have no hate for anyone. What 19 people did uh, 10 years ago has nothing to do with all the other Muslims. I do feel that people now understand Muslims a lot more than they did before. I would say that they've definitely become more educated than before, yeah. but there's still a lot more to learn. These students have taken it upon themselves to clear misconceptions about Islam. We all are ambassadors of our religion. It doesn't matter what, what faith you belong to, you have to represent your religion. And um, if anything, my parents just say, you know, stand up for what we believe yeah. in and stand up for the truth. And they hope there will come a day when they don't have to defend their faith anymore. Just because of the actions of this one group, so, I mean, that's like something we have to live with for a while. I don't know how much longer. I hope, I mean, that'll wear off soon. Now, the same poll found that only a small portion of Muslim Americans feel biased in their everyday lives. The students I spoke to today say if anyone ever approaches them with a concern or a question about their faith, they are eager to set the record straight. Don, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. Report from the campus today.